Hello, and welcome to see open at Legacy Charlotte. We're hopping right into qualifying here. I've got myself an OSR setup as usual. Uh, interestingly, I couldn't find it at first on the OSR website. I had to like manually type it into the URL, oddly enough before I was able to find it. So, it's there if you if you happen to be looking for the OSR setup this week. It exists. It's the 2023 season 1 and everything. But uh it's kind of hard to get to it. Regardless, we're going to do our best with qualifying here. Don't think I'm going to have the most speed. Lap 1 I'm just going to try to make sure I don't get crazy loose. I've got the tape at 90% right now. Hopefully it doesn't blow the engine. I think it should be okay. Just gonna get a banker in here essentially. One more lap. Get a decent lap in. Now I'll push a little harder and then if I get loose, oh well. Got loose there, but I stuck it. Let's see what we can do. 3 4. Hey, alright, that's gonna be an all time best. I nailed 3 and 4. Still not gonna be that great, but. <laughs> I think that's pretty good out of the OSR setup. I feel like that's about as good as I could hope for. 30.128. You got guys in the 29s and stuff, but hey, for a race set up with some tape on it, that's not bad, right? I'll take it. Now, typically, Charlotte's one that you do want to save tires quite a bit because surface will eat away. Tire's pretty good here. It'll be inter interesting to see if I can get it on the right rear. I feel like I might be able to get it on the right rear in 1 and 2, but it's going to be a little harder in 3 and 4. I'm not using any brakes, at least not off the start of the run. I want to practice pit stop here, but I also don't want to blow my engine. <laughs> Wasn't ideal. Was that really not a... Black flag. I would get a black flag right now, wouldn't I? If I uh, sped, it would say something. I think so. I think I'm actually gonna put the brake bias up a little bit. I just it's instinctively put it down, but I don't really need it if I'm not gonna be using the brakes that much. If I do start using the brakes, I'll put it back. But I think I'm gonna want it up a little bit for uh, green flag pit stops if necessary. Well, obviously that was a little bit sketchy. But it'll be interesting. I, I don't know how the t how the truck's going to evolve throughout this run. I don't know if it's going to get looser or what. Probably not. My assumption is that it's going to get tighter. And I'm really going to try to prevent it from doing that. By uh, getting off the throttle pretty well, especially in 3 and 4. And maybe I can uh, get it on the right rear and 1 and 2. I don't know. Yeah, even though I feel like I hit my lap pretty good, that's still we're still way off a lot of a lot of people ahead of us. Strong field though. We are the seven truck and a three point seven K strength of field. <clears throat> Excuse me. So just the top five. Or top ten. Top five. Yeah, top five would be great. I think just the top ten though would be plenty good if I could pull that off. I think I'd be very happy with that. Got lots of people in here. 23. A lot of familiar names that you normally will see. That's the end of the session. P12. Um, 6.9K is your top up there. Where do we end up? 12th. All right. Okay. Make sure my tape is uh, where I want it. I guess brake bias at 65. I really don't think I'm going to need brakes. 
Because even though it gets kind of tight in three and four, I think you'll just be lifting off more. I don't know about brakes, but I could be wrong. One I'm going to keep the dash up bar. off the start just in case. Probably could have put a little more tape on it, but I didn't practice enough with it. And uh, I do not want to explode. So we're not going to do that. Maybe if we get green flag pit stops or something, I'll throw some tape on there. Who knows? Man, I'm jealous. Those are guys in the 29s. I really do feel like I kind of hit it about as well as I could with what I have here. I mean, obviously, I could shave time off, but I'm almost full throttle. I got the 30.128. I guess the key is, like, if you were able to go full throttle, you'd probably be able to get much better. But I did not feel like I was going to be able to do that. Without breaking loose. Three sets of tires for 80 laps. We've got W driver back there. I guess he didn't qualify. I hope he's not gonna just plow his way through. That always makes me nervous. I got a couple lower numbers. Additional sets of tires during this race. Have a good race. <sighs> I hope we'll just be patient. Gonna get this on so I can hear everything. <clears throat> Follow car number seventeen. Now we're rolling. Maybe rolling. Okay. What are we doing? What's happening? I'm already scared. Turn my volume down just a tiny bit. All right. We're brake checking off the grid. So that's always good. Okay, not first gear. <laughs> I checked. Can confirm, not first gear. Imagine if I blew my engine right there. That would be embarrassing. Green. I'm leaving some space in front of us here. 17 is. The car is off. Be ready. Let's go. Green flag. Green flag. All right. You're not ready to go, I guess. Inside. Keep high. Oh my God, we are crawling off the line. Scary. Oh God, what are we doing? And there's the caution. No idea what happened there. That'll be a couple spots, I guess. Not a great start. <laughs> got two laps in. So much for that. When it was in that. Not even close to making it on fuel, so definitely gonna have to come in. I have a little bit of a good option. Sure Fortunately, I don't feel like I was able to be good to the tires. 
it was side by side the whole time. Ryan, do I have any left front damage? Is the one involved in that? 16 on pit road. Pit road is closed. We're under caution. Pit's One's closed. still in third. I'm not entirely sure exactly who was all involved in that. What are we Our doing? Brake checking. Zooming around the outside right there. Half that five, yeah. Well, we will be on the outside once again, this time P ten. be correct 3.8 we're not even near making it so that's not calibrated right yet hopefully the guys ahead of us get a better jump this time i literally had to hit the brakes for them on the last start 21 also on pit road saying P9, but that's just because I was ahead of the 8, I think. Something. Alright, attempt number 2. I really like to get single files, start working on being good at the tires a little bit more. Hopefully just get a good run. Maybe even get to some green flag pit stops or something. I believe. I know we can do it. Pit car is off. Time to do your job. Green flag. Green flag. You're in the top ten. Terrible start for the twenty. Of course, I'm stuck behind him. Come on, man. I'm losing like six spots. Is he damaged or what? That's pretty awful. Oh, that guy's having some serious trouble, huh? I think he just went and hit the outside wall. Feeling a little bit more pushy in traffic. So let's uh, let's just take it easier. Try not to hurt the tires too much. Checking up a little bit. That was a little scary. Alright, well, 
Trying to make a pass, but whole bottom line checks up, I guess. Oh my goodness. Maybe I'm driving too hard. Maybe I should be saving tires more. I'm sure no one's up there. Tires off out here, but I don't know. I really don't think I want to be on that bottom lane. Everyone's just so stacked up. That guy really closed the door on the guy in front of me. The guy, the purplish pink truck got kind of tight maybe. Uh, single file. Looking pretty single file. I'm feeling much better now. Not enough of a run to go for it. Truck's definitely getting tighter. Nine's hitting the wall on the straightaway. I don't want to be down here. Yeah, I got a feeling there's no way a pass is going to be made down there. I didn't really have a choice if he's going to be hitting the wall. I feel like I've probably overdrove the tires. Might have to let this three by. He seems pretty impatient. Just go. Just go then. It's not really in my best interest to have someone that's uh, right on my rear end. I want to really focus on just not overdriving anymore. So I've already been doing it too much. In fact, let me get session last lap up. Should have had that from the start. I'm going to try to get it on that white line, maybe get some rotation. Wish the setup were a little looser. I feel like I say that a lot with OSR, but it's my own fault for not knowing uh, how to make setups. Oh, we got a move up there. It looks like some contact even, maybe. It's 
getting a little weird up there. Until uh, we've got some people getting tight. Not feeling too bad. Truck's a little bit tight, but it's not unbearable. Definitely glad I'm not side by side right now, though, like some of the other guys up there. Top 10, that's all I ever really wanted, so we got that going for us. Guess we come in, I don't know what, lap 43 or something. Maybe something like that. Maybe a little early since uh, we've unfortunately had to use the tires up a little bit side by side early in this run. Maybe we won't have to do that the second run so we can save tires a little bit better. So it might be good to do a little bit of an undercut. I generally prefer the undercut anyway. Pushing up a little bit. Both these guys look like they're pretty understeery. I think if I want to make a pass, I want to do it out of four. Didn't really see a good outcome from that. Even though I had a bit of a run. Didn't really see a good future. <laughs> I'm doing some fortune telling here and trying to find out when I need to be moving. Almost feels like the setup's coming to me, actually. That felt pretty good through the corner there. Got about a second back behind us. Man, a huge run. Not quite enough, though. Racing me tight. He like hit the apron or something though down there. Alright, got that pass done. Felt like we got some extra turn too from having him on my uh, rear spoiler. Definitely not opposed to that. Yeah, getting some turn out of the corner now. Very interesting. Don't want to be on the low side to three and four. 
Don't think you can make a pass down there. Protect that high line, though. I think we gotta take this run. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear up. Hey, we did it. I was wrong. You can't make a pass down there. Inside. I'm faster than this guy, so there's no way I'm letting that happen. I'll drive it in a little hard, harder if I need to, because we're not doing that. Okay, OSR, we've got some long run pace. I see you. It's a slap car up here. I see that too. I have to keep an eye on that. You know what? This truck feels great right now, especially through one and two right there. I'm actually a big fan of how this is feeling right now. Car outside. Way off pace. Man, I'm like underdriving one and two now. What is going on up there? Is that blocking or are they wrecking each other? What's going on? Hey, you kids. What are you up to? Get off my lawn. Car in front of us is Taurus. So I guess we're uh, still just going to try to make lap, I don't know, 43 happen? If I'm going to be long run, maybe like 45, if we really are feeling like we've got long run pace. I don't know though, it looks like the 8 might be catching back up. Fun drive though. I'm enjoying myself. Always a fan of the intermediates. Yeah, the eights all of a sudden got some uh, speed. I think. You have to keep an eye on that. Getting so much turn out of two. So P8, we're holding pretty steady right here for now, it seems. Eight is catching up behind us, though. Just a little bit. Is this three falling? Seems like he's coming my way. That was a pretty bad three and four, though. For me. Counter steer a little bit through the center. Pretty tight. Pretty tight in three and four, I'll be honest. I think the three's got it worse.
Oof, yeah, he's having some trouble. It's looking like we're probably going to get some green flag pit stops, though. I'm a big fan of that. Always a bit concerning when early on you get caution. Everyone's figured it out, it seems. He's Alt F Ford, rather than get passed by a peasant like me, I guess. Well, that was the easiest pass I've ever made. You ever just delete someone from existence when you want to pass them? Hmm. When you come in? Oh. I'm gonna listen out, take a look around me, figure out what other people are doing. Yeah. Does feel like we have a good long run truck. Wow. <laughs> the number two and I was leaving. I guess if you yeah, lots of free the I guess if you aren't doing well, and people that Shouldn't be beating you or beating you. The thing to do is just alt F4. Oh man. No green flag pit stops. That sucks. Wonder what happened. So P7. We got ourselves a long run truck. I'm even going to put one little tapey poo on there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, just one little present of tape because it never even threatened to overheat. Plus, uh, I don't know. That's it. It just never threatened to overheat. So, might as well put an extra percent on there. Push it just a little. Because why not? If it starts getting hot, then maybe I'll actually save tires properly for once. I'm a little concerned now that we're going to get all bunched up again. If we're going to start seeing more cautions once more. having trouble 5462 oh my Jesus Christ they want you in single <laughs> that's scary we had a pretty good pit stop I think we had some people slide past their box and stuff like p2 is now behind us or alongside us, one of the two. Not sure exactly where we are yet. We got our extra tape. We got some fresh tires. We had 54.62, but it was pretty good. It's always pretty hard to save tires here. So the fact it felt pretty good. Come oh, uh, flat truck. The fact that it felt pretty good, combined with the fact that I know at the start of the run we had to be harsh on the tires, racing side by side, I'm not feeling too bad about how it is. Fifth place, dang. We had a good pit stop. I mean, I guess it's only two spots, but 
I mean, that's two spots. <laughs> and I get the inside, which I think I prefer. Like, I uh, probably want the inside through one and two. So one will be on our outside. Kind of, I'm pretty happy with that because I feel like he probably uh, wants to get going after losing some spots on pit road. He's probably going to be pretty aggressive. I could definitely see a three wide move coming from that direction. So I'll have to keep an eye on that, but he won't be behind me, so that's a positive. Four course yellow, pits are open. Feeling good though. About this top ten I wanted. So far those setups not so bad. Could be a little looser. From OSR, but Getting the job done. One to go. Next time by, you'll be lining up on the inside. We're uh, gonna start behind this very patriotic scheme from Mr. Cortez in the tin truck. See the eagle and the flag. What's the? Something riding on the eagle? I'm trying to look. I don't want to get too close and rear end him. That'd be not good. <laughs> it's like a wizard head? I'm losing my mind. Anyway, we've taken our free setup up to the top five. We'll see how long that lasts. Let's see if we can get a good jump. Ready, going green. Got half the race to go. Post car is off, time to do your job. Can't see. Can't see. Terrible jump. God, I'm embarrassing myself. As usual. I couldn't see him. I thought I saw movement. I didn't. Stay low. The car on the high side. Clear outside. Try to get single file here. Don't want to be on his inside. Okay. Car inside. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Clear inside. Takes it defensive, interestingly. Just right behind. Saving some tire, hopefully. Try to get on that right rear as much as possible. Nice turn by that white line. Feeling good about being a uh, single file. Didn't have to race too long. Side by side. The eight wants to go. 
See? Really too interested in losing track position right now, so I will fight that. Saving tires, but I don't want to give up a ton of track position to do it, right? So. Past the one. Oh, maybe I'm crazy. Sixth place. Okay, Colton, you want to add your oil and both looking pretty hot right now. Try and take it easy. That might was out for the two one seven. I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe I'm accidentally going the pace I need to go right now. I know the one's pretty good. Maybe he knows exactly what pace he needs to be going. Save tires. Maybe if I just follow him, we'll be in good shape. Well, this draft certainly doesn't hurt. off a tiny bit. Got right all over my rear end. Behind us. Just, I have to trust that he's not going to run me over. There's nothing I can do about it if he's just going to do it. Just kind of have to trust that he won't. But we'll see. lap truck coming up. The one that's really off the pace. Car outside. Clear. Temperatures are fine. They got a little high for a moment, but now nah, they're good. I'm happy with that change. Don't want to go to the bottom here. He does, though. Oh my gosh, this guy's way off the pace, isn't he? You can see he's getting blocky. Should be able to get him here, I think. I protected the inside a little too much. Me to handle. Just gonna keep working on him. Man. 
We're faster, but not fast enough to make the pass right now, I don't think. Just wait for his tires to fall off a little bit more, maybe. Wait for a mistake. Maybe may wait for a moment where he gets real tight. I'm getting real tight, though, is the problem. I think trying to set something up, I might have hurt my tires. Oh, no. We get that long run pace though eventually. This uh, setup really comes in. So maybe we'll be okay. If things work out like they did the first run, we got a uh, real good pace eventually. I mean, we're sixth right now. We're doing pretty, pretty well. Now suddenly the tens checking out. He's done with his stay at the hotel, and he is checking out. It is 11 a.m. Got some guys battling ahead. The eight's falling off my bumper a little bit. Trying to back down three and four a little bit more, but... Hmm, tires are not happy. We go though, starting to get some of that turn I was feeling late run last time through. Oh, what happened behind us? Something's going on. I don't know what? I don't know what it was, but something went on. There we go. This is what I need to do in three and four. Or maybe not. Because that wasn't even faster than last lap. Felt better. Starting to get that long run in. It's feeling pretty good. Ten's freaking out. His internet's like, oh my god, he's gonna come catch us. <laughs> Maybe not, but, you know, we're gonna try. So we're starting to get that rotation again. No more cautions. That's all I ask. Some movement up there. Looks like he slides up in front of the P3. They've got a battle going for that position. We've still got some time for this to shake out, too. We've got, what, 13 laps still? Still plenty of time for things to happen. Got some space behind us. I entered way high there by accident. That was a terrible corner. It's awful. Everybody look away. That was embarrassing. I'm living for one and two right now, though. Getting through there pretty good. Sorry, that was me. No, Leader didn't pull away either. I mean, he's right there. Kind of far away from me, specifically, but he didn't pull away from the whole group or anything like that. Second behind us now. Oh, that was a slide job and a not a very good one. That's going to make the six angry.
don't wreck him. I want this to go green to the end. Them messing with each other is helping me out, though. Catch back up. Well, this blocking scared me. It's wrecking. Yikes, dude. I missed my mark because I was watching that happen. I had to make sure they weren't crashing. That might have been my fault. Uh-oh. Uh, it's time to go into witness protection. That was not good. I'm going to look at it, but I think I might have come up the off the bottom too far. Oh, boy. We're just bouncing off of each other, getting loose on the exit. I couldn't wait for them. It's near the end of the race, but I even used brake on the bottom to make sure I stuck it down there, and I just I don't know if I did. Oh, boy. Well, that's not good. The gap ahead is now 1.5. <laughs> I guess we'll finish this one out and then take a look at that. Not sure how to feel yet, but I think I might be in trouble. We're P4, though. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I want to be here. I feel like I should feel bad about being here. The gap behind is now 1.5 seconds. Keep it low. See? Fuck on that, maybe? Your lap time was yeah, right, yeah. 2.2. Man, this thing's got long run speed, though. <sighs> Guess I could have waited. Just felt like it was a really good opportunity late in the race. They both made a mistake. I thought I was going to get, like, the edge on them into the quarter. I thought I was going to get, like, half a truck late before, you know, getting to the corner. Before they even got there, you know. Uh, regardless, it's a four X. Even if it wasn't my fault, and that sucks. We we're having a clean race before then. Hmm. The one and the nine are gonna be fighting for the win. Two to go. I think we should be able to hold on to P4. Uh, I'm not going to be able to think about anything until I uh, look at that replay. What flag? What flag? Are we gonna see any like crazy desperation moves up there? For the win. It 
see him, they're speck in the distance. No, I don't think he's close enough. Looks like that's how they're gonna finish. Good race, good win. I'm gonna look at what happened with that three wide. I'm really sorry if I didn't keep it low enough. Yeah, I didn't see much of my fault. Not you, Vincent. You wouldn't wreck nobody. Huh. So the uh, setup shop that won gets to post their things, but the other ones that didn't win, Alt F Ford, and it's like it never happened. So let's, uh. Dang. Is that them? No, it's not. Oh, hey, a nice thing, as I'm looking at me probably wrecking somebody. <sighs> I'm gonna apologize right after I say thank you to this guy. Oh, 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 oh. How'd he finish, James? Mm -hmm. Um, where's the Tan? Tan, is he still here? Uh, and six. So we'll apologize to the guys that were affected in that. He's a good sport about it. Mm -mm -mm. So that was really cool. James said hello. Tim uh, is forgiving. I appreciate that. Just a. Uh, Felt like I had to go for it, you know? Like they're uh, getting all sideways right there. So I remember the thing I said. I don't even remember, to be honest. <laughs> oh, man. Gotta be kind of funny. <laughs> well, he's gone. Like they're racing after I basically wrecked them. Uh, yeah, I gotta do better than that. If I'm gonna make a move like that, I can't be uh, causing trouble. We all could have, I made that done. Yeah, that put me kind of low on the track. I tried to kind of come up a little bit more, but I think I had me a bad angle. He was very cool about it. I appreciate him. So, yeah, I've, I was sticking it at first. I kind of just start hitting bumps, I think, though, on the low side. And you see, it's just, when you're three wide, you got to be as close to that white line as possible. 
And I just, I, I failed to do that. I just, I came up right around there, kind of started hitting some bumps. And uh, that's, that's going to be on me. You can see like, it's almost like, a, yeah, I guess kind of prediction code. I was going to hit him anyway. Prediction code kind of like pulled me up too. Pulled me up that direction. See so, you know, like, I didn't do any my own no mistakes. He's real cool. All right. So he's very nice about it. Hopefully we get the chance to race again, and maybe I'll have the chance to do a little bit better next time. Oh man, he really got messed up too. That sucks. I hate that. Ugh. He had every right to be super angry about it. And the six too, I think, uh... Six didn't say anything. But uh, it doesn't need to. So he gets up in the wall. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Oh no. I didn't even see this part either. Yeah, he's like off the pace and he's kind of like on the driving line. Yeah, it kind of turns down there. But the 19 was yelling at him too, so he probably has other people to deal with right now. Ah, it sucks that that happened. It wasn't an egregious issue I had there, but I definitely have to keep it lower than that, and it unfortunately really messed up two guys' races. Yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna have to think about that next time. I end up in a similar spot, because I am the guy that made them three wide. I gotta be more aggressive with, I guess, I mean, aggression probably sounds like the wrong thing right now, but be more aggressive with getting a good angle on the corner. Even if, uh, like, he kind of blocks me a little bit, I've got to move back up and make sure I can get a good angle so I don't push up mid-corner. This is something I've done a lot, where uh, I'm trying to give room on entry, and it ends up making me cause problems for people mid or exit. Because I'm, I'm just, I don't have the right angle, and I hit those bombs, push up, and then I cause problems. So, I think what I really got to do is make sure I'm aware of how much room I have up there. Start the corner a little higher, and then get that better angle under the corner so I can stick it better. Because you can see, I was trying my best to keep it down there. I got on the brakes and everything, and that's the first time I hit the brakes all race under green. But it wasn't enough. Dang. I really regret that. But in the end, we get a, a good finish. A really good finish. Um, we were still probably going to be top six. So I don't feel like I've completely ruined my, my good finish with my mistake. But definitely prefer that wouldn't have happened. Uh, shout out to OSR. They provided a very nice setup this week. I know I've been talking a lot. I'm sorry. But... Uh, Really wanted to review that. But yeah, shout out to OSR. That setup is actually pretty darn good, I feel. You know, 3.7k strength of field as the 7, being able to pull it into essentially P6. Um, with a accidental P4. <laughs> so we got 3 wide on lap 2 here. But 21 just comes up a little bit much if they're gonna be 3 wide. Fortunately, it pulls him to the right, and then a couple unlucky bystanders in the wrong place. So that was our first caution, real early on. A couple people taken out right away. Oh, I didn't even see that either. Man, that poor 16, I think they were trying to just hang back, probably. They're all the way back here. Hey, there's James. Uh, they were just, they just uh, couldn't figure out how to get around. That sucks. 
I, did, I think I was in open practice with him, too. I recognize that truck. So, a couple guys taken out early. Some real bad luck there. There's the two that eventually left. Which way he's on pit road on lap four? Did he get damaged, maybe? I don't know. Oh yeah, that, I remember seeing that guy on the outside. He was having some issues on the restart, was kind of firing off a little slower, and then he came up and got the wall right there, too. Just had a little bit of an issue. Sam doing a little bit of a blink. Man, too tight already on lap 19. What if he's trying to come out here with the fix setup? <laughs> it's probably telling you how bad the fix setups are. Like, setup can only do so much, but it can't hurt you if it's as bad as the fix setup usually is. You got a little bit of bumper tapping. Your eventual winner right here, coming up. Good luck wall tap right there. 19 comes up, taps that guy a little bit, but they're okay. Sure, they play. Moving right along. Some more good luck wall taps. We're approaching whenever that second caution was, because it was just a little bit after lap 40, I think. Two still getting kind of tight on exit there. Ooh. What was that? Is that just a breaking loose? It looked weird. Oh, he was already... Okay, he was already sliding on exit. I didn't see the first part here. Kind of gets loose, has to catch it. Loose again, and 14 catches him before he can react. This isn't a... Oh. It wasn't a caution. Still shouldn't be. He's on the apron. Are you kidding me? You joshing me right now? He's on the apron. Oh, give me a break. Oh, okay. I see. He's going to park it on the track. Real cool. Thank you for running our green flag run. So it wasn't a caution until he decided he wanted to uh, Carson Hosevar it. Blatant as blatant can be. You're lucky I'm too lazy to protest. <laughs> Much going on there. We're going to restart here soon. So this is the guy that tried so hard to get his caution. Now he's hitting the wall under the yellow flag, I guess. Or I don't even know if that was yellow flag or not. I wasn't pinned. I didn't check... Uh, Check to see what lap it was, but a tap in the behind to the eight there. That must have been a time we gained some space, because I remember the eight was hot on my tail for a while. Ooh, six hit the wall pretty good there. One of the guys that unfortunately I got in that three wide move. Tries a crossover and gets him in the rear end. I remember these guys were battling for a, for a minute. Or uh, it was these two and like these three guys were all battling for a minute there and it allowed me to catch up so you come wreck them. So I'm a piece of garbage. And there's me. Ah, so bad. That's so bad. Oh my god. I'm embarrassed. That's It's just not good. Just center a quarter, I started hitting the bumps. It was not enough, and I just caused problems for these guys too. Ugh. Today I was the problem. Dear diary, today I was a problem. And then he ends up on pin rope. <laughs> oh my god, I hate me. Alright, oh well. I'm having trouble lately. I'm not driving well. I need to shape up. So, a little bit of wall. We're closing it out here, though. 
Just a couple more wall taps, it looks like. And that 11 persevered. He's had a very off pace truck, but he got his laps in. And then there's your winner. So we had a really good finish, but at what cost? We get a P4, top five, after I was just hoping for a top 10, but two of the spots unearned, as far as I'm concerned. And that's very unfortunate. Um, I, got, I got to be better than that. But other than that mistake, you know, I had driven up to six, so I feel pretty okay, I guess, about that. Or I was in seventh, I guess. Seventh place. With a chance to pass them. I felt like I had momentum, but I uh, did not get it done cleanly. And uh, after not, not having such a good qualifying, felt like I moved forward pretty good. And, uh, well, that, that's going to do it. That will do it. Thanks to James for saying hello, and uh, thank you so much to the 10 for being understanding. I apologize to the 6 as well. He, uh, probably mad at me, and for good reason. But, enough about that. Thank you for watching, I appreciate you, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.